course, once we're past the weekend here, Monday, a big day for not just us here in the DMV, but so much of the U.S. with a total solar eclipse taking place from Texas all the way to Maine. So that's where we are. We'll have about 87 uh, percent obscured with totality right along the path there. Areas like Cincinnati, of course, the solar eclipse is coming our way with partial expected here in Washington, D.C. You should still always, though, practice safe viewing of the sun. So this doesn't mean pulling out your sunglasses, but instead solar eclipse viewing glasses recommend it. Safe solar viewing or people call them eclipse glasses. We like to call them solar viewing glasses because you can use them all the time. That is, you can look at the sun anytime during the year. And as a matter of fact, right now during this time of solar maximum, there are more sunspots on the sun and a lot of times you can see them with your own eyes. And that's pretty amazing. Well, one of the things is these, so these are, as you mentioned, these are not sunglasses. They're so much more darker, but they're more than that. They're actually um, analyzed in a lab to make sure that they not only stop all of the visible light from the sun, but even light we can't see, like ultraviolet light, to protect our eyes. And so they're about 99% of the, of the light is cut off. But the other thing you have to be careful of is they do have a special rating called an ISO number 12312-2, and that's saying that they've been rated. But you do have to be careful because anybody could technically print that on there. So advice here, make sure you get them from a reputable dealer or get them from like a science center, even a library. Libraries a lot of times have them uh, and they go fast. So some places may already unfortunately be out. Uh, you can watch the full eclipse, solar eclipse, totality two. We'll bring it to you Monday afternoon. I'm hosting a special eclipse across America.